Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Derek Ong um, with uh, the continuation of the uh, tutorial using SPSS for statistical analysis. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how we can use moderation analysis using the SPSS process produced by uh, Professor Andrew Hayes. In the video before this, uh, I would have shown you how to download the process macro and install it as an administrator onto your SPSS. So please view that video on mediation analysis using your SPSS macro uh, process. Um, it will show you how to download the process macro and install it into your SPSS. So for now, in this video, I'm going to be using the... Um, analysis from my previous uh, video uh, the purchase intention of sportswear and we're going to continue on using the uh, an analyzing research question three uh, objective three which is to determine the role of gender as a moderator between product design and purchase intention of sportswear now do note that um, the moderator here is a categorical mod moderator with two categories so to keep it simple, uh, try to uh, create moderators that are only two categories, and uh, that will help you quite easily in uh, interpreting your analysis results. But if you do have multi-categoricals, then what you need to do is to set dummy variables uh, for each category and set one category as a base category. So for example, if you have three categories, then you probably need to have two dummy variables. Okay, so for here, we are setting gender as 0 and 1, 0 for male, uh, sorry, 0 for female and 1 for male. And this is our framework where gender moderates the product design and purchase intention. So you notice that the arrow is on the arrow because if the arrow is on the variable, which means we're looking at whether there's a difference in product design by gender. But here we're saying that gender moderates the relationship between product design and purchase intention. So taking this out, this is how it looks. Okay, so I'm going to use the sportswear data with constructed variables. These variables have already been constructed uh, from fact analysis and as well as um, reliability analysis. So we're going to use the process, analyze, regression, process set reset um, so the outcome variable here will be purchase intention the independent variable here will be uh, I forgot product design yeah and my moderator variable will be gender now make sure gender here is um, coded as 0 and 1 yeah, whenever you have binary, it is best to code it 0 and 1. So if you have any codes that is 1 and 2, may I suggest that you recode it to 0 and 1. All right, thank you. And uh, the model that we're using here is model number 1. Based on Hayes uh, templates, when you download your process, you will get a file called templates. And basically, this template uh, file template will give you all the 76 models which Hayes has uh, so geniusly uh, put together in helping us to model the real world much better. So this is the basic moderation model where we are doing uh, independent variable product design to purchase intention and uh, moderator as gender. Basically we want to see if there is a uh, degree of uh, intensity between the among the genders when it's purchase intention uh, uh, influenced by product design and of course in SPSS this is what they'll be doing uh, basically we'll take the difference and then create an interaction variable of X and the uh, M okay all right so Let's look into our SPSS back. So outcome variable, independent variable, gender. Uh, make sure model is number one. Options, 
uh, nothing much here but you can just put this long names make sure it allow long names or else it will just cut off because they'll say that <coughs> you cannot have anything that's uh, more than eight characters and just press ok taking time running <coughs> so here's our analysis uh, purchase intention, product design, and gender. Sample size of 284. And uh, you will see in the model summary that you will have to report the gender, which is a negative coefficient, the product design. And this is what we are most interested in, the interaction between product and gender. As you can see here, the product key terms, int1 is actually product design times gender. And this is a significant result. So having a significant um, in, uh, interaction means that there is some sort of a moderation by gender. So what we need to report is actually these three. Uh, I'll show it to you. Tables. So first you need to report the model summary. Uh, say that it is a significant model with a strong R square. Well, maybe not so strong, but still it is a significant model. Um, the model itself, uh, gender is significant, product is not that significant. When you include the interaction, it usually happens. But the interaction is definitely a significant one. So most important is when we find that there is an interaction, the best way to actually talk about this interaction is to graph it. So what I'm going to show you is how to graph it. Go to Graphs, Chart Builder, press OK. Now this is definitely going to be a uh, uh, scatter plot, so find scatter. We've got two categories, male and female, so we are going to do, use the group scatter, pull up. So the x-axis, which is our x-independent variable, will be the product design. And the purchase intention is in the y. Pull it there. Set the color by gender. Drag and drop gender. And press OK. Of course, this graph is not going to tell us very much because it's all the dots. So basically what we need is the uh, regression lines. So double click. This will come out. Press on this button here called Add Fit Line to Subgroups. And you get the two fit lines, which shows that there is an interaction effect. But you might want to get rid of the dots. So just click on dots and uh, delete. Sorry. Click on the dots and just press close. Properties So as I was mentioning, uh, you want to get rid of the dots um, Make sure you go to properties, go to your variables Under the element, look for the marker um, When you make sure you click on the marker and delete and apply and therefore your dots are gone so then we can just uh, close use this as our our graph we can copy the graph copy the whole thing 
and paste file export the chart or you can just copy it copy chart paste it and basically what this graph would show to you is that um, the intensity of the purchase intention and product design is stronger for the females than it is for the males so the males would have already a strong purchase intention uh, the purchase the product design is not going to do very much in influencing their purchase intention but for the females the product design is a strong influencer uh, for purchase intention to a point where uh, it will go higher than the males purchase intention if the product design is good so this is a good um, uh, how would you put this uh, a good suggestion for marketeers to note who which segment to target for which variable and it would help uh, decision makers to make uh, policies so this is all on moderation you can also do moderation using quantitative variables and the philosophy is basically the same it's just that then there will be three lines created rather than just two because it will create for you and automatically uh, create three groups of um, uh, low medium and high so check out uh, uh, my next video on moderation using uh, quantitative variables. Thank you for watching.